Hey everyone, you're with Tesla Tom and thanks so much for joining me on my YouTube channel where I discuss Tesla, electric vehicles and renewable energy. If this is your first time to my channel, hello and welcome. Please take a moment to hit that red subscribe button and that way you stay informed of any new content and it also helps my channel to grow as well. Today we are going to look at software update 2020.44 in our red Tesla Model 3 Performance Stealth here in Sydney, Australia. We're going to do that and much more right after this. Okay guys, just to prove that we are on 2020.44, here is the software version right there, 10.2 2020.44. So let's get straight into it. Let's go to the release notes. There's quite a bit to unpack in this update, so let's go through it right now. All right guys, so here are the release notes. I'm sorry if it's a little bit dark. I'll read it out to you anyway. Autopilot set speed. You can now change the autopilot set speed by adjusting controls, autopilot set speed to one of the following options. Speed limit will set the cruise speed to the speed limit of the road and will adjust either to the set speed offset that is specified or to the current driving speed, whichever is greater. The set speed offset can be configured to a fixed speed for all roads or to a percentage that will vary based on the speed limit of the road. Current speed will set the cruise speed to the current driving speed. Note your previously set speed offset will not carry over to the new set speed feature. So we'll certainly give that a test today with the various options uh, listed. Next one is Spotify improvements. Spotify has been updated to make it easier to find and play content from your library, which now also includes collaborative playlists and podcasts. With gapless playback, you can now enjoy playlists without disruption in between tracks. A Spotify home tab has been added to help you discover new content, which is customized based on your listening preferences. Spotify also syncs with other devices that are logged in, making it easier to control what is playing in the car from the Spotify mobile app. That's great, we'll check that out as well. Media search improvements. The media search results are now rearranged for easier viewing. Results now also display based on the media source you are actively using, highlighting and making it more convenient to find what you are looking for. Search results when searching for specific terms via voice has also been improved to show you more of what you are looking for. We'll go through that as well. Media sources, you can now show or hide your preferred media sources in the media player. Go to the audio settings sources to hide the sources that you do not use. Media search results will also exclude all hidden media sources. We'll look at that too. And voice command language, you can now select a voice command language different than the touchscreen language via controls display voice recognition. That's good, and we'll check that out as well. And of course, this release contains minor improvements and bug fixes. So let's go backwards in order of those release notes. Let's have a look at voice command. Let's go to controls, display, and voice recognition. So now you can set the touchscreen language, English, Spanish, French, Italian, Dutch, and Norwegian. And going backwards, there's German, Danish, uh, Catalan, Korean, and different types of Chinese and Japanese. And same thing with voice recognition as well, starting from the top, Japanese, three types of Chinese, Korean, Danish, German, English, Spanish, French, and Italian and Dutch. So I'm gonna give this a try in uh, Chinese. Kai Zha Wu Xiang. Obviously that means open the glove box in Mandarin, so that's good to know that it works. Fantastic. Okay, so the next thing I want to look at is the media sources. You can now customize what you see in the media sources. So let's go to audio settings and sources. So where's audio settings? Uh, let's go to this one. Audio settings and sources. So there we go. You can now choose up to seven sources to enable. Obviously there's only five now, so I'm assuming in the future there will be more sources available to enable and that will come up here in the uh, audio right there. So that's uh, fantastic. Nice to be able to customize that for future. Currently you've got radio, phone, Spotify, karaoke, and tune in. So good to know. 
Okay, so next I want to look at is uh, media search improvement. So apparently the search bar now looks better. So let's um, have a look at that. Let's just type in something generic like Tesla. Let's see what actually comes up. Let's press enter. So yes, that certainly does look different now. Uh, it used to be just uh, tabs up the top here, but now there's actually quite, uh, you know, quite a visual representation of what you can search or look for. Songs with the word Tesla in it, albums with Tesla, artists with Tesla, playlists, podcasts, uh, karaoke songs, stations, things like that. So that's really good. Apparently voice is also different. So let's check that out. Play Tesla. Yeah, slightly different. Maybe it's just different each time, but um, very similar to when I typed Tesla as well. So Spotify improvements. So let's go to Spotify. Let's see what we can find. Apparently podcasts and uh, collaborative playlists look better as well. So let's have a look. Let's go to Spotify. All right. So uh, this is Spotify now. And um, you now we've got a few kids things here and we've got some uh, classical music. The kids are learning uh, the piano. So we've been putting some music on for them to listen to. Um, and uh, now you can play podcasts as well in the podcast section as well so fantastic uh, that's some improvements there for the Spotify app and of course the last thing I really want to try today is the autopilot speed improvements so let's have a look at that right now let's go to autopilot let's go scroll down here so a few options now you can uh, when you set autopilot to drive you can have it on the current speed which, which basically is you know if you're driving at say 60 you can just set autopilot on and it will drive at 60 for you which is nice you can also go to speed limit mode, so you can have it on fixed with no offset, which means that it will drive at basically the current speed limit. You can have an offset, so let's say we have five kilometers over the speed limit. So if the speed limit is 60, it'll start driving at 65, I believe. Obviously, we'll test that today. And this is nice as well, there's a percentage. So whether you believe it or not, in New South Wales, there is some tolerance apparently uh, to how far, how much over the speed limit you can drive. I, I certainly don't vouch for this. I don't condone this, but that's certainly the, the feeling around town when you ask most people about the road rules. And I try to drive at the speed limit, but if you like to go over a little bit, you know, to take a risk, um, then this is an option for you. You can say drive at, you know, say 10% over the limit. And say, for example, if you're driving at 50 or the speed limit is 50 kilometers an hour, then the autopilot will go to 55 kilometers an hour. So we'll certainly give that a test today as well. And uh, the notes were saying too, that if you're driving um, at a higher speed than the current speed limit, uh, even with the offset, then it'll take your, uh, whichever's higher. So if you're driving higher than the offset, then it'll the autopilot will engage at the current speed um, that you're driving at rather than the offset. All right, guys, well, uh, that is all the release notes for uh, 2020.44. So I guess what we want to do now is uh, do some testing with the autopilot speed settings. So what I'll do is just um, start with, uh, we'll do both single lane roads and also multi-lane roads. All right, guys, let's uh, go for a drive. See you shortly. And guys, before I forget, I just want to point out to you that um, the auto high beam has a new icon here as well uh, in the quick control setting. Okay, so um, I've got it on currently uh, with autopilot. I've got it on current speed. So um, so this is just a control. So once I pass this roundabout, um, I'll drive at say, you know, 45, right? Engage autopilot. And it's taking me at uh, 45, which is cool. It's exactly as advertised. All right, so the next thing I wanna do is uh, try it on fixed. So I'm going to go fixed plus five kilometers an hour offset. Um, and once I go around this roundabout again, this is a single lane road for this test. So the speed limit is 50 over here. Oh, it says 40 there on that one, but once we pass this uh, speed limit, it'll be 50. So there we go, 50. Let's engage autopilot. So there we go. It's going at 55 with that uh, five kilometers an hour offset as advertised. Okay, so the next test I want to do is the percentage offset. So I've got it now on 14% uh, offset from the speed limit, which is still 50. So let's engage it now. So now it's going at 57 kilometers an hour. And 
and um, so that's again working as advertised on a single lane road which is great all right guys just on the multi-lane road now so uh, I've just got it on current speed as a control uh, so I'm going at 65 so let's engage it so yeah it's going at 66 as advertised just following the speed that I was currently on What's cool about the autopilot speed settings now is that you can set it while you are driving. So let's change it over to speed limit setting. Let's go uh, fixed at say five kilometers an hour over the speed limit. Uh, speed limit is now 80, so let's disengage. And uh, let's re-engage. So again, as advertised, it's going to ramp up to uh, 85 kilometers an hour which is five kilometers an hour over uh, the speed limit of this road as advertised once again very nice as advertised very good all right let's disengage now now uh, we're gonna go on percentage mode so let's do that let's uh, let's be a little bit bold just briefly let's go 20% over the speed limit um, speed limit is 80 kilometers an hour, so let's engage that now. So here we go, it's going to ramp up to 96 because that's 20% over the speed limit. And uh, yeah, certainly I don't want to go too quick uh, at this time, but you know, there it is, 96 there. Let's engage that, that was uh, as advertised again. Let's do a couple more things. Let's um, let's go under the speed limit now. Um, speed limit is now 60, so let's go, let's say 10% under, because I'm a cautious driver. Let's do that. Oh, okay. Uh, you know why? Because whatever's faster. So it picked the faster speed rather than the offset uh, as advertised once again. Very cool. Let's see if I go like much slower. So let's say if I go at, um, let's go under that. Oh, sorry. Okay, let's uh, re-engage when I get to a bit of road. So I'm driving at 51 now. Yep, so it'll come up to 54 kilometers an hour because I was going under uh, the offset speed limit. Alrighty guys, well, um, looks like it's working pretty well. Uh, I've tried it on a single lane road, I've tried it on multi-lane road, uh, I've changed the settings midway through the drive, everything seems to be going okay. So uh, yeah, it looks like, uh, you know, I think autopilot is uh, is good now. You can toggle you know, to whatever setting to your heart's desire, whether you like an offset percentage wise or a fixed uh, speed over the speed limit. And um, we'll do some more testing later on to see how well it's now reading speed signs uh, I'm really particularly interested in electronic variable speed signs, uh, which has not been so good over the last few updates. Alrighty guys, well thanks for joining us on this night drive. Uh, sorry I couldn't do, do a day drive, I uh, had a busy day at work, but the, the software update dropped during the day at work, so I thought I wanted to quickly get, get this out to you guys so you can see what improvements have been made. Alright guys, thanks for joining us. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, I really appreciate that. Uh, and of course subscribe if you haven't done so already yet. And uh, leave a comment below if you found any other Easter eggs or anything hidden or anything I have not touched on in this recent update 2020.44. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time guys, stay safe and as always, happy charging!